Okay, let me introduce you to my horse drawer. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The horses love it. The dogs love it. Something for everyone. going through the little kitchen updates I made since my last video. So if you haven't seen my last video, you might want to check that out. I'm just giving some updates. People asked a lot of questions. Um, I mean, a lot of people asked the same question. I guess that would be more accurate. Um, about kind of this cabinet area here, dining nook, like asking like, where is that in your house? Is that where that thing used to be? Is that where that table was? Is that where the AC is? So I figured I would just answer all that. This was a full on DIY, which was awesome and really worked out for me. But then this is my other favorite thing almost in the whole house. So I felt like even though most of my kitchen is the same, those things are really different. And so I felt like it really needed to be addressed. And then this video is also sponsored by LG Cord Zero. And it's the coolest little vacuum mop, I guess you could call combo. It all sits on a stand. It's all like Oof, all together and really like nice like that. Plus, you guys don't even understand. Leaving this back door open all day long, I can't even tell you. I have to dust probably three times a week. Dust and vacuum three times a week and I live alone. No joke. I mean, I'm talking like dust bunnies. Like if we wait a week, you will think I haven't cleaned in like months and it's really bad. So I love this thing because I can literally like change all the little things. I can use it on my couch. I can get into the crevice of my couch. I can do my little nook bench over here. I can do my drapes. I actually will do the blinds. I'll do above the blinds, spider webs, get in the corners, get on the drapes. So anything that kind of, oh, in the edges, like around the window frames. Oh my gosh, there's always like dead flies and weird, gross little things. I just feel like it cleans it right up and then I can hang it all back on there. Ooh, and the mop has little things that I can take off. It's really cool. So, I guess we can get into it. <laughs> Here's the changes I made. Get, breakfast nook, whatever, and especially in a small space. And actually, originally when I got this bench, I got it for exactly that reason when I lived in Venice and I used it with this table and it worked really well. In here, I kind of wanted some place that I could just sit every once in a while, I could work. Um, I have a table over there, but I don't know, I just, I wanted something that felt like nooked in and kind of made this sort of long, narrow space kind of make sense. When I designed this before, I had a little desk here, which was really cute, but then I had a table over there that covered the AC unit, and it just felt very like a lot of legs. A lot of legs and a lot of table, kind of the same thing mirroring each other. And while I like that side and I like this side, there's something I didn't love about like this way, seeing them together. But I think I found a combination that I probably won't change because I love sitting here. I love the mirror back here. Gives it like a nice little shape above, kind of draws your eye up. It's nice to reflect back over here. Um, and so I just really love it. And I got my little, you know, little pillow. The same things that I had before. Remember if you saw my kitchen video before. If you haven't seen my kitchen video, link, you can watch it. Yeah, so I put those up before. So it wasn't like, a major change, but it's completely different. Lay dining nook. Now, this little area here is the other side of the fridge, so it's kind of this spot that like is hidden from the living room, so I use it as an opportunity to kind of like, I have like fun stuff on my fridge over here, um, fun magnets, pictures, people I love, all that kind of stuff that I don't really want everywhere because I feel like I've got a lot going on, so I try to edit where I can. So for me, it's editing by putting all that stuff and stuff I want to put on the fridge on this side. Then I've got a little hook I can throw, you know, whatever, but this hat up there, um, you know, texture. Um, and then I've got this little um, dish towel, whatever, to use for whatever. And then I have the happiest freaking basil I've ever had in my life. 
I was literally gonna plant this outside, but it's just like loving life in here. Oh, it smells so good. And then I also have my little LG cordless here, which I love because it's like perfectly in this corner. I love that it's on a stand that I can move around. It doesn't have to be like attached to the wall because like I said, my Gemini personality like to move things, rearrange, all that. Very low commitment in that sense. Plus I just like that it's easy to move when I'm pulling the parts off and all that. Like I can just move the whole stand if I want to. It's not even heavy, like it's an easy thing to do. And the most important, most exciting part for me as far as being here is that it is a vacuum. It is a mop and it has all the attachments and everything and it sits right here and it works out perfectly because I have a plug there. Just plugs in, stands on the stand. So I'm a person that loves organization. I love everything to have its place. So this is highly, highly satisfying for me. So it literally has everything. It even has a spot for two batteries to charge on this stand. So yeah. And I also add a little lamp here. This is on a dimmer, which I adore. The dimmer is life. But I love that that's also a little lamp at night in here, it's like beyond cozy. It is so cozy. I love fruit on the counter. I feel like it is practical and aesthetic. All right, so I put all my plates, cups, all of that in this cabinet. As you can see, I did not organize for this purpose, but I'm a fairly organized person. <laughs> for me, this is um, not organized, but it is organized, everything's organized. Next. I have a small space for food. I used to have my food in there and it was like hard to get to. Those cabinets are, they're not normal. Like, I don't know, they're like below, they're weird. Anyway, so put up here, it's easier. I got kind of some of these like little steps, spice organizers, and they work really well for everything. So I have two of those and then I've got a couple of these that have a divider in the middle. Um, and I need to probably label them, but they're not labeled, but they're still kind of what they are. This is like starches, I guess you could say. This would be like lentils, falafel, you know, stuff like that. I guess like proteins. Yeah, we got green barley and green lentils. Like I'm very uh, vegetarian-esque. All right, then I've got nuts and seeds, and then I've got snacks, which the snacks are also nuts, so it's, it's a little weird. So the nuts are also snacks, just to make sense. And then, yeah, so then it's a mix. Oh, and then I have like all my vitamins and stuff and I put them on the little tray. And then this one's a little bit smaller and it has like coffee, tea, and then apparently like taco seasoning. Cause I guess taco seasoning made this spot. And I, I mean, I, it's a random thing to buy. But yeah, so this is my little um, food pantry and uh, I don't eat home a lot. Um, yeah, and then I just put the oils in the center. I think even in a small space, like if this was everywhere, first of all, it would never have enough room. I'd never find anything, but putting it into individual containers, little racks where you can see behind it and see everything you have, this small space works super well. Very efficient. Now, I even use the space above the stove, those little, little cabinets. Let's see what's in there. All right, I've got tablecloths over here, and then I have uh, napkins. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of uh, reusable cloth napkins. So those are all up there. I can pull it all out if I want to for a variety. Oh, apparently I've got regular napkins as well. Probably from like takeout and I figure why not save it. There we go there. Who knows when you might run out of toilet paper and you'll be thrilled to find those. <laughs> All right, so this is the other thing that I changed at the end of the kitchen. So this is opposite the nook. I'm staring at myself in the mirror right now, but you know. See, that's the benefit of having a mirror. Check it out, but it's not like too in your face. Anyway, I did this little DIY and I actually did it as a video, but then some complications happened and never was released, um, but it was a little DIY. I bought this cabinet at the thrift store for like $10, painted it navy, well, actually painted it navel to match the rest of the cabinets. So I'll have to figure that out, but it fits so perfect. It's like, I mean, how can I be mad? And this little area is kind of like a weird little, I guess nook is the word of the day. It is just kind of like two inches back, two and a half inches back from the rest of the wall, which is strange. Like if you guys don't remember the original kitchen, oh my gosh. 
this was crazy. So what I finally did that I didn't do before is this is a weird kind of wire thing happening here. I got a cord cover. It's not completely perfect, but the thing is, especially in rentals or when you wanna do something really quick, camouflage, just camouflage it. Like that looks a thousand times better than it did as a big gray cord. Is it perfect? No. Is it better? Yes. So we're going progress, not perfection. And then I put up this little shelf. I wanted a shelf that would be like really, really, really simple. And I kind of liked that it was just white, nothing there, floating. I didn't even want brackets or anything, like just leave it alone. So I've got this going on here, a uh, little bit of artwork. This kind of changes around. Um, a candle, this kind of changes around sometimes, but I found a little home for my record player and I am loving it. I got a bunch of like really fun records, like vintage records and their sets. The fabulous 40s at a yard sale and one of my best friends in the whole world bought me this for Christmas mailed it to me and so I'm finally using it like a lot like every morning I love it it's like so happy it has a really you know distinct sound and for some reason it's totally different for me than when I like put on my phone so I only use the AC I mean really like a couple months a year so why do I want it on display all the time I don't so this is what I did is really great because obviously this fridge it would be just kind of like out in the open in the living room like it's kind of like a little strange that's sort of what I like about creating this little dining nook too and putting these photos up is it kind of just brings your eye up and treats it almost like a wall like I said it doesn't change it it's not anything that like makes it look like you're trying to hide something it just makes it look a little better like camouflage soften that's kind of like where to go I think with like tricky spots that aren't great and especially if you're a renter and you really can't change things in the way that you might want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think my favorite thing about this video is maybe the fact that um, these roses grew outside my yard. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope this was good for you guys and you liked it and uh, saw what I did with my little AC unit. I feel like that's pretty good. And I actually really like the little nook area. And my kitchen, considering how it started, I mean, it's going pretty well, just saying. I will see you guys soon. I love you. I need to do a full-on tour. Oh, I need to do the backyard. I've got a patio video coming. So, yeah. Viva la summer. Viva la mask off. And I'm excited. I feel like we're coming back to life, and I'm excited about it. So, yeah. I will see you guys soon. Bye. They're more into it when the horse is eating them. Then they've got to have one too, but apparently they don't care here.